Eric Mwad with Mwad.com with a follow-up for how to initially set up your stockcharts.com account. And so let's go to, let's take a look at a stock that we've been discussing. And it is actually an ETF. Whoops, talk, wrong ticker symbol. Let me try this again. All right, so here we are. And we've been looking at this from a daily view. So what we're going to do here is first and foremost, we need to set up a watch list and so what you can do is click on this portion here which is edit list and it brings you to this page here where you can change the name of your watch list and I'm just gonna call this watch list and you can change the name as you wish but that's what we're gonna call it for now just for so that we can add some charts to follow here so let's go back to the ticker symbol, the cybersecurity ETF. All right, so here we have it. This is a weekly because once we enter something, anything here, as we had discussed earlier, it gives us our default view. Let's take a look at the daily, which is what we've been discussing. And we are talking about, let's bring back this level here. So we, you're trying to see, now, right now I'm going to use my recording tool so this is not from stock charts this line is not from stock charts this is from my recording tool that I use to record the video so maybe that some people have asked me how I am able to draw all these lines you know and do all sorts of things but this is from my recording tool and if I can show you the tool I'll drag it here you can see the tool allows me to click on one of these things and that's how I'm able to draw all these sorts of things. So that's that's the tool I use. It's, it's the recording tool for Camtasia, which is the software I use to record the video. But if you wanted to draw lines on the Stock Charts platform, just scroll down to your chart and click on this here. You have two options. You can either use the flash uh, platform or you can use Java so you have two options there so let's click on that and so you have this pop-up that shows up all right and so here you have it and you have all this you might have to spend some time playing around with all these tools to figure out um, how to draw them but for example I'm gonna I want some lines, so I'm gonna click on that line option so let me I'll click on that option there gonna give me the line option and then I'm just gonna come here and draw a line like that and I can change the colors by playing around with these options right here all right so for example if I want to change this to green I just need to click on it and and click on this options here pick any color I want so I go with green and there you have it so all right and of course we see that this stock started moving around here and so we can draw another line to show to remind us where this move movement began somewhere around there and I'll keep that also at green so let's change that back to green whoops lost my color there I think I think I know why I was trying to draw with my recording tool so let's go to this here you can change the thickness if you want to change the thickness you can use this option here and again all this you just need to spend some time clicking on all these things to figure out how to use them or use the stockchest.com instructional help material so we can see that this is where the move began and if you want to draw a box I'll click on that here and I'll draw a box so the move began here which is also what began the stock moving higher. Um, okay, so I don't want to confuse you because all this is going to need a lot of practice and just some time to play around with the tool. What I want to show you is how to save it. So we know that if the stock is going to hold around this current level here, it needs to hold on the green line. So you want to save this to watch this intraday, to watch for a potential double bottom back above the green line. So that's what we are watching for. All right, so if you want to save this chart, come here and 
click on upload right there so let's click on that it's gonna give you this option here you can see that right now it's showing you that it's gonna save it on the watch list so if you have more than one list on your account you can scroll down here and you can get the various lists that you might be having on your account for now we only have one so we're gonna go with it's gonna go to this save on this watch list so let's go ahead and name this and you can name this whatever you want and let's just call this daily I'm just gonna add daily so that we can know that's the daily chart and then I'm gonna click on upload it's very easy click on upload and it should save it so now if you wanna access so now let's type in some ticker symbols just kind of so if you want to look at other things and um, let's see what um, XLF or right. and you, you want to go back to your list it's very easy to go back to your watch list to watch your saved charts and you click on the members link here so click on this members link right there to go to your list or your options click there scroll down and so what you have to do is just come here to the your saved chart lists here click on that so let's do that and it brings you to the saved chart that we just saved now you can have I believe up to 500 chart on this list and on this page you have an option once you have enough chart on this list you can look at the charts from a 10 page view or from a chart book view gallery RRG in fact what I can show you is I'll show you my own account so this is a separate account so give me a second and as you can see here I've been on stock charts for 13 years uh, straight and so on my members once I click on this members link so once I click here I come to all these options now all right there so hold on a second let me show you that so here click on that option and then it brings me to I can click to go to my watch list here or I can scroll down on this page and you can see that I have all these chat lists all of this there's so many and for example let's go to let's go to one of one of the lists here let's go to this one here and you can see here that this is the most recent breakout list that I'm watching right so it's 10 per page I can click on for example chart book which gives me one per page and then I can click on next to give me the next chart and then next to give me the next chart I personally prefer the 10 per page because you can see that all you have to do is scroll down to view all these charts and another thing you can do also while you're here is so this right now this is rendering in form in terms of weekly charts what I can do is I can click on this edit list here so let's do that click on edit list and it's gonna bring me to this page here now this is a good page so give me a second here to set things up all right So on this page here you can come here and you can do all sorts of things you can copy to another list you can you can move to another list and my favorite is here change settings so if I want to change all this chart or some of them I can come here and highlight which ones I want to change so let's just click let's say change all of them select all which is this option select all and then I'm gonna come here and I want to look at let's say at the hourly chart right now it's showing the weekly I'm gonna go let's say to the hourly once I click on that I'm gonna click on change and so that it's changed now let's go back to the 10 per page and you can see that now we have hourly chart it's a quick way to to look at more than one chart in a quick succession so I've changed all of them to hourly let's go back and click on edit list again edit list and so I click on that let's say I want to change the 
couple of them into different things so let's say I want to change this to monthly let's go to monthly I'm gonna click I selected some of the charts on this list then I'm going to monthly change it let's come back here take a look at the 10 per page option click on that and you can see that some of them are gonna be on a monthly view some are gonna be on the last format which is the hourly so you can play around with all these things now on this page you also have the option of saving your annotated charts by clicking on annotate here a great option so if you wanna if you wanna add some notes if you wanna add some lines and all that stuff click on that annotate so let's click on that one and let's just draw some lines for the sake of it showing this you know what actually I need to use the tool itself and not my drawing my recording tool so click on that I'm gonna draw an arrow now you're gonna have to play around with this thing cuz um, it's just the only way you can be able to learn how to do this is um, play play around with it it's very hard to show somebody step by step all these things so as an arrow um, we can we can add some letters you come here and add click on a click on this it gives you the option to enter to enter some words and then just there you go so that's one way of adding and that you can also click on this call out here so this option also click on that and let's do it let's click on that and then come click on it and then click come and click on where you want it to appear on the chart like that and then second call out call out letters or words let's just call it that and so you can see the difference there so let's for the now let's just go ahead and click on up upload which is right here click on that upload and so now you can see that on this list it has saved it so that one was saved so you can you can add all you want change it come back in the future and change it now remember this is gonna be populating every day so you know as the days go by and hours go by all these charts are gonna be populating in other words they're gonna be updating themselves in terms of new data but your lines will still be there and so this is one way to maintain your charts as an example on my public watch list I have had this list for about for so long so many years I've been maintaining this list every day I add lines remove lines draw lines do all sorts of things on this list and again I think you can have up to 500 per chart list so this one I only have about 340 um, you know so you can do whatever you want play around with these things and just just play around with it there's no shortcut to learning how to do it the key here is I was trying to answer your question on how you can annotate and change all these lines and it's very easy all you have to do is scroll down click on annotate and play around with these things here you know for example you can move things around save them and there you have it so just save what you want delete what you want for example if you want to delete a chart um, you have this option here to delete you can delete a chart here or you can go back to your chart list let's go back to a chart list here and let's say you're looking at let's take a pick take one of this here I'll just take one of the ones that I play around with and let's go with this one here say you want to delete a chart you can either delete by going to this option here to remove the chart from the list or you can click on the scroll down here to edit list so you have an option you can either go here and click on edit list or you have another option which is to use this drop down menu here oops and then click highlight on the edit and click on that and so let's say we want to delete some of these charts you can still use this option come here and click on what you want to delete so I'll, I'll delete two of those charts 
highlight them come down here and click on the delete option so let's do that and it's gonna add, bring up a pop-up asking you are you sure you permanently want to delete this chart of course the answer is yes so we'll click on OK and there you have it so we've removed those two charts out of the five that were on that list so you can just you need to play around with all these things so you can be more familiar with the platform otherwise that's how you add delete and also change and add annotations and all that to your charts Eric Moade, Moade as always good luck peace and blessings woo e a c s